Welcome to our lecture on reactive oxygen species, ROSs, not to be confused with RUSs, or rodents of unusual size. In this lecture, we will look at major sources for producing reactive oxygen species and the type of cellular damage that they cause. ROSs can be produced as one species and then interconverted by enzymatic reactions into other reactive products. One of the most damaging is the radical superoxide. Superoxide is formed from molecular oxygen by gaining a single electron from an NADPH oxidase NOx enzyme or from electron leak in the electron transport chain of the mitochondria. Superoxide dismutase enzymes convert two superoxide molecules into peroxide and an oxygen molecule. Hydrogen peroxide can undergo Fenton chemistry with iron to form a hydroxyl radical, which is extremely reactive and can cause cellular damage. Hydrogen peroxide can also modify redox-sensitive cysteine residues to change cellular signaling. Alternatively, hydrogen peroxide can be reduced to water by glutathione peroxidases, GPXs, peroxyredoxins, PRXs, or catalase. Anytime proteins are transporting electrons through a system, especially with multiple transfers, there is some leakage from the system. Single electrons escaping from complexes 1 and complexes 3 of the electron transport chain generate the superoxide radical. The NADPH oxidase NOx comprises both cytosolic subunits, P47 FOX, P67 FOX, and P40 FOX, and membrane-bound subunits, GP91 FOX, P22 FOX, and RAC. During activation of NOx, cytosolic subunits compromise a multi-component enzyme and migrate to the plasma membrane to dock with the membrane subunits. This multi-subunit enzyme produces a superoxide anion. The NOx-mediated release of reactive oxygen species, also called oxidative burst, leads to the elimination of invading microorganisms in macrophages and neutrophils, and thereby serves as an anti-inflammatory mediator. Other enzymes also produce superoxide, including cytosolic xanthine oxidase, OX, the cytochrome P450 monooxygenases, SIP family proteins, in the endoplasmic reticulum, the mitochondrial electron transport chain, and the NADPH oxidase, NOx. The key enzyme class that is used to break down superoxide are the superoxide dismutase enzymes, SOD. The SOD enzymes convert superoxide to hydrogen peroxide in a molecule of oxygen. SOD1 is a cytosolic form of this enzyme, whereas SOD2 is mitochondrial and SOD3 is extracellular. The peroxide produced in this process is also reactive and can cause damage to proteins, especially at cysteine residues. Other enzymes such as catalase, peroxyredoxins, and glutathione peroxidase can break down peroxide into water. Let's take a closer look at the SOD enzyme reaction. Superoxide is a potent oxidizing agent. Excessive amounts lead to a cascade of reactions causing damage to important biological macromolecules, such as DNA, lipids, and proteins. Excess superoxide plays a role in the pathogenesis of many disease states, including cancers, cardiovascular disorders, and neurogenerative diseases. To protect cells from harmful amounts of superoxide, SODs convert two superoxide anions to oxygen and hydrogen peroxide using a cyclic reduction and oxidative reaction of the active site metal, which is often manganese. 
in the first half of the reaction, the manganese 3 is reduced to manganese 2, releasing a molecule of oxygen. The reduced manganese is then utilized in the second half of the cycle, where another superoxide molecule is reduced to hydrogen peroxide, restoring the manganese to the plus 3 state. This redox shuffling of the active site metal to perform catalysis is called dismutation and is dependent on two protons per cycle. The human SOD enzyme is a tetramer, where each subunit contains a manganese ion at the catalytic center, indicated by pink spheres. In the active site, shown in B, the red spheres designate oxygen. Blue denotes nitrogen atoms, gray denotes carbon, and magenta denotes carbon atoms from the adjacent subunit. The dashed lines represent the hydrogen bond network, hypothesized to be the proton relay to the manganese ion used for catalysis. This schematic shows the cyclic manganese reduction and then oxidation to produce a molecule of oxygen and peroxide. In step one, a superoxide molecule associates with the oxidized form of the SOD cofactor manganese 3 plus. The electron reduces the active site manganese from manganese plus 3 to manganese plus 2, and oxygen is released from the enzyme. A second superoxide molecule associates with the active site manganese. The manganese 2 plus electron reduces the superoxide. This reaction is dependent on the incorporation of two protons derived from water to form the hydrogen peroxide molecule. The enzyme is then reset and ready to begin another round of dismutation.